as long as I can remember, I've been going to the farm for Thanksgiving. The farm has been in my family for generations. It belonged to my great-great-grandparents, the Creasons. I spent many summers there growing up, but it's a family tradition to meet there every Thanksgiving. That's my dad. He drove us from Alabama to Arkansas uh, in about seven hours. Wolf Bio, Arkansas. Population three, or ten, or something really small. There's no post office, there's no stores, no schools, just a real laid back area. A local once said, if a squirrel falls out of a tree, it makes the news. <laughs> Trying to get a group photo with all 25 of us, including myself, was a tad difficult. Why don't you get the picture? A two second self timer is just not long enough. Now, which button do I hit? Here we go. Here we go. Smile, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, here we go. Happy Thanksgiving. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing this right or not. I'm not a... You're not a professional carver? No, I'm just a professional eater. I don't care what it looks like. I'm just there a are player. other people to eat, Mike. Huh? <laughs> there are other people to eat. I'm just eating a piece of nobody. I had to end up throwing it away or giving it to dogs in here. Oh. Before you eat, you sign the book. This just shows us who's been at the farm all these years. This book goes all the way back to 1977. I was one year old. This is the farmhouse. It's been slightly upgraded over the years, but it still feels like going into the past when you step inside. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. When was this house built? 19. 48-ish. Is the outhouse still out there? Yep, it's not used as an outhouse anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's still out there. It's got some upgrades. Mm -hmm. A modern stove and uh, a microwave. It's not too modern looking, but it is a microwave. <laughs> this old stove is pretty cool. And before that, they had a wood burning stove. So this was a this was a modern improvement. The dinner bell, dinner the trial. Oh, sure. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> it's kind of dark in Is here. Is that the dinner bell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of 
what happens on the farm these days happens in the barn. We stopped off at the cemetery to look at the headstones uh, in the cemetery that my grandfather was buried in last year in 2013. We still haven't picked out a headstone for his grave. Uh, right now there's just a marker and um, we're just kind of getting a look of all the different styles and colors and trying to decide what would be, what would be best for his sight and um, yeah. So, Henry Creason is granddad's father. So you're great grandfather. Great grandfather. And then Ida Creason. That's my granddad's sister, Aunt Ida. I remember her. Ah, okay. She was ancient. I was about. <laughs> Granddad was in World War One and got a gas attack and had asthma the rest of his life. He was always wheezing and coughing. The Creasons. Henry, there's his footstone. And the other one right there. I think footstones is a great idea. Yeah, kind of a postscript. Yeah, right? So they don't do footstones anymore? I don't think it's common. I don't recall seeing any lately. I think we know what kind of style we're, we're looking for. It's uh, be a dark gray granite. Uh, there's there's different types of stone, uh, marble, limestone that will erode over time, and uh, so you know, looking for longevity and looking for something that looks nice. There's a lot of a lot of people out here, a lot of interesting names. 
some of these people looking at the dates uh, lived to be 100 years or more. We're gonna spend a little bit more time here looking around and then we'll, we're out of here and we're gonna go back to the farm. and he got him a guitar and so we kind of hooked back up he got me interested in it Eight inches of snow so we've been you know jacking around with it for a while now. Oh, okay. uh, a long time yeah off and on it's a, if, if i could do nothing else i'd take music lessons well i'd take enough to learn how to get by you know mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. Like a violin, you know, enough to know, learn how to hold it, how to draw the bow, and mm -hmm. you know, it makes a big difference on some of that stuff, you know. Good? Not really, no. Are they, what's, are they like dry? I don't like the flavor. Hmm. Not as juicy. The higher, the better. Oh yeah. So I was pulling it down. How do you describe the taste of a huckleberry? Purple. <laughs> purple? Purple, it tastes purple. <laughs> Okay. Everyone's different. Oh. See, these are tart. <laughs> yeah, these are tart. These are. Mm -hmm. Lumberjack is <laughs> All right, it's time for lumberjack. Look out there. Timber. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Good job. Like a galloping deer. <laughs>
When's the first time you came to this pond here? Well, let's see, after it was starting to fill up, that would have been in the 60s, early 60s, probably 62. And you used to jump off the cliffs, dive off and swim? In the summer, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Try to reach the bottom, no way. <laughs> the boats that we took out a couple of summers ago. Went out and boated and it's pretty fun. Really? The rear teeth are not exactly molars and they're not exactly canines. They're like oh. specialized. Yeah. So what's that from? That's a deer? deer. Whoa. You want a picture of a fun guy, you gotta take one of me. <laughs> Yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> You're a fun guy. <laughs> And that is a pretty laid back view of Thanksgiving at the farm. I know you play drums too. I know. I play drums. So what's the next song? That's that's about it. Without, with the, I haven't played a guitar in years. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> 